Hey, Evan, a uh, couple, couple practices into spring. Just curious uh, what you think the competition will be like for you guys, just five, six guys competing for carries. And you know, talking to you last year that you were okay with sharing the load. That might be probably what happens for the Buckeyes this year. What, how do you see this shaking out? Um, no clue yet. Just, um, you know, just coming in here grinding every day, um, giving it all we got. And then uh, we'll see how this thing shakes out in a few weeks. Next up, we'll go with uh, Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes now on Sports Illustrated. Brendan? Hey, Evan, just try to give us an idea of what life's been like for you since you've come to campus and um, how you've tried to manage the uh, probably drinking through a fire hose with all the classes and all the football-related stuff and just trying to get, get comfortable, let alone get out there and compete. Uh, yeah, first getting here, things were a little crazy because, you know, you don't know how to really manage your time like that. You're on a schedule, you know, back at home and stuff, but – um, you know, I came around here in the last few weeks, so being able to just juggle everything, you know, getting here on time, things like that. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm juggling it well. It's going great. Next up, we'll go with Stephen Means with Cleveland.com. Stephen? Evan, in this deep and talented running back room, what kind of allows you to stand out in, uh, from your skill set in comparison to a lot of these other guys? Um, I think personally, my, um, you know, my ability to make plays in space, um, my route running and uh, my, my ability to, to make a difference in the open field. Um, really just and then just you know, being here with Coach Alfred too, you know, him adding different things to my game to help improve me. So. Next up, we'll go with Joey Kaufman from the Columbus Dispatch. Joey. Evan, what do you feel you uh, uh, bring to Ohio State in, in this running back competition and, and kind of fighting for carries? What, what do you think is your best attribute as a runner? My best attribute as a runner, definitely to hit the home run. Uh, I feel like from anywhere on the field, it can go to, it can go to the end zone. Next up, we'll go with Spencer Holbrook with Letterman Rowe. Spencer. Evan, what, what's this been like for you just – I know you've already been asked about getting on campus and how crazy that was, but just finally being around guys like Trey and, and the rest of the running back room, how has that been like where you guys are balancing the, the camaraderie in the room with the competition and everything that goes on in the Woody? Um, yeah, it's been great just being around the guys, meeting them, uh, guys like Marcus and them. So uh, we, we know it's competitive every day. So we just, you know, first off, we, we started off by building a brotherhood first because, you know, we're, we're brothers first, you know, we're going to share the field together. So, um, you know, we obviously know it's competitive, but, you know, that's not something that, you know, is maybe you spoke about every day. So we're just going to keep coming in every day and making each other better and grinding. Next up, we'll go with Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Bill. Hi, Evan. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make, whether it's academically or with football? Because you know, it, is, it is obviously a major adjustment coming in here. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely a major adjustment would be just, you know, growing up in general. Um, nobody's going to hold your hand here. You know, it's, it's go time for real. You're basically growing at this point, you know, on your own time. You've got to make, you know, the right decisions and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say I had any issues, um, you know, doing some things, but definitely just being on your own, you know, hits you. Thank you. Next up, Nathan Baird with Cleveland.com. Nathan. Hey, Evan, with you and Trevion coming in together, the, that connection is probably going to always, you're always going to be kind of seen as, as a, a, a duo throughout your time here at Ohio State. How are you guys pushing each other on the field? Master said you guys are, are sort of competitive and pushing each other on the field. And how are you helping each other off the field? Yeah, off the field, um, you know, we're roommates. So every day, you know, low-key, we compete in everything. Uh, you know, if Trey cooks something, maybe I'll cook something, you know, see what tastes better. Um, but, you know, on the field as well, you know, we're pushing each other, but that's not just us. That's all guys in the room, you know, striving to be as, uh, as great as we can be and, and fighting for, uh, for a spot to play. You guys, you guys cook for each other? Not for each other. Uh, nah, um, we might do some lobster each other tonight though, but we, you know, we do like breakfast, stuff like that. Um, separate though, you know, I got my pots, you got his pots, so. 
Next up, Dave Biddle with 24-7 Sports. Dave. Hey, Evan, I have a real hard-hitting question for you. What are your thoughts on Columbus, Ohio so far and Ohio State's campus so far? Yeah, I love it. You know, I just get love from everybody, um, anywhere. Uh, the people here are just good, great, cool people. You know, a lot of the time you meet a lot of, a lot of outside people. They want to talk to you about, you know, football, things like that. But, you know, just great general conversation, getting to know somebody outside the football team. And that's all I've been, I've been feeling here in Columbus is just straight love. Thank you. We're going to go with two, two more questions for uh, Evan. Next up, uh, Jeremy Birmingham with Letterman Row. Jeremy? Evan, um, Trey said that he needed to get hit one good time on Wednesday to really wake up to realize what it's like to be back playing football. You missed your senior season as well. What, what's been the biggest adjustment on the field for you and how ready do you feel like you are for to get hit again? I mean, you, you see these guys, uh, you know, the size of some of these guys you're playing against now and how ready are you for that? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, first day of spring ball was fast. So, you know, so like I, I've made that adjustment well. Um, but regarding the Wednesday, um, whatever happens, happens. I know I'm going to go hard and do what I do, and which is not, you know, try to get try to get hit so but if it happens oh well we're gonna keep pushing is that saying something about the difference between you guys Trey said he needs to get hit and your goal is to not get hit yeah my goal every time is to go to the end zone all righty Evan thanks so much for your time and have a good rest of the day